What's up guys, Inigami here, and I know you want those 20 gems, so let's go over the 20 stamina Straw Hat Island on the global version of One Piece Treasure Cruise. Now remember that all of your Straw Hat characters, that no matter what version they are, any Straw Hats, including Golden Pound Usopp, 5 Plus, Luffy, and blah blah blah, they will have 1.75 times attack, 1.75 times health, 1.5 times recovery, and have their cooldowns reduced by 7 turns at the start of the island, which is why we can use our Golden Pound Usopp special right here on turn 1. Now, 7 turns does not let Golden Pound Usopp special get used right there, but with a Duval Captain, it does. Now, if you're using a non-free-to-play version of this team, you can use a Legendary Kizaru Captain, and then use a... Uh, have at least level 2 cooldown reduction, and that way you'll have your additional 3 turns of cooldown reduction because both of those Lopins there will be 1 turn attack, and they will kill you. You're going to have to re reset this island a ton, a ton, a ton of times in order to get it to actually work. Now here is what you need to do and you need to get really, really lucky with your orbs. You see how many green orbs I got there? That's what you have to do is get a ton of green orbs until you kill both of those Lopins before they attack because if the Lopins do attack, they will prevent you from healing for 50 turns. Now here, you do want to stall on the Princess Turtles. Just kill Turtles so that way they don't attack you twice on the same turn and then you're good. And then just take it slow. Now on the next stage, what you'll see me do is I'll actually uh, stall improperly. Because you shouldn't need to use a special on the next stage. And you want to get through it uh, just by killing the Mantis. Because what the Mantis would do is he will silence one random character every three turns. And the Princess Turtles on that stage, you should be able to attack regularly. And have your specials ready to go for the uh, stage three. Stage three is a bunch of giants. So you can use a Golden Pond Uzot special, you can use a Sabo special to help you kill some of the giants, and then just leave one giant and stall until stage 4. Now stage 4 is where a lot of teams are going to die, and this is why we are using 5 plus Luffy and why we're using Moria. 5 plus Luffy and Moria are incredibly replaceable. You can swap out lots of other different characters for them, but what you want to do is just make sure that somehow you can get through stage 4. Three. If you have Magellan, I'm Stage 4, if you have Magellan, that's either Legend Magellan or Raid Boss Magellan, bringing either one of those will make your run way, way faster because either Magellan will let you poison Frankie and Luffy, both of which take a heck of a long time stalling the way that, or fighting them the way that I am right now. So on Stage 3, you want to go upon Usopp, you want to use some specials, and then you want to kill everyone you can, and then, uh stall out on whichever one is last. Uh, so here I can't quite use my Sabo because my Sabo is silent so I'll have to attack with my regular attacks. Then stall on whichever one. Uh, there's doesn't really matter which one you leave alive. I would just leave alive one of the giants in the back. Uh, one of the red giants since you have a lot of dex characters and your dex characters would deal less damage to red characters. Uh, the reason stage 4 is so dangerous is because of the girls around Usopp. There are going to be 5 girls this time, 3 Sai and 2 Dex. They all do the same thing. Whenever they attack, they'll despair your captain for 10 turns. So if you're using a friend Kizaru with your legend, uh, your rare recruit Brook, then uh, you will die. Now... There is, you, you can survive, you can survive if one of the girls despairs your captain in a team like mine where your friend captain is the brook and you still have Sabo special active so that way you can kill that girl on the second turn before Usopp attacks you, I mean before two characters attack you, but it is very very risky and I don't recommend it at all, oh no do I not recommend it. So you're stalling for all my specials again, in our next stage we're going to be using Duval health cut. 5 plus Luffy because 5 plus Luffy is a fairly large nuke and also Luffy is a straw hat so he gets that cooldown reduction at the start of the island and also gets his stats boosted. Uh, the Moria fixed damage is enough to kill one of the girls all by himself so with that between uh, Rocket Man ship, Duval special, Sabo special, Luffy special you'll be able to take down all the girls before they attack you and after that this island is more or less over. You've mostly got it done. Uh, Usopp does the same thing he does before. He now has 3.12 million hit points. He'll give you all block orbs. He'll prevent delay to himself. And he'll also, below 50%, bind your orbs. That means he rejects your orbs. I mean, he gets rid of all your orbs for 10 turns. So you want to get him below half health as quickly as you can. And then 
just keep punching him until that goes away. Save some good orbs for stage 5 because stage 5, just like on the 15th stamina, has lizard and the lizard will poison you. So you have to kill the lizard before it attacks. So most importantly, get that Golden Pound Usopp ready. Use, uh, you only really need to use a Golden Pound Usopp and a Sabo on the next stage, and that will be more than enough to kill the Lizard and two of the Dinos behind him. And then you can stall once again for your Sabo special before you go into the next stage. I don't really need the Usopp special, but I mean Usopp special will be ready before the Sabo. So that's nothing really too much to worry about there. So Usopp here. Just punch, 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 punch. Wow, so much damage. So good, right? Uh, if you're using Legend Magellan, I would actually recommend, or if you're using either Magellan here, I actually recommend not using Magellan here. Because if you use Magellan, you'll kill Usopp. Probably, uh, he will probably reject your orbs, and you won't be able to get rid of that orb rejection before Usopp dies. So. I would avoid using a Toxic here on this stage. At least get him low, get that rejection, and then you can punch him the old-fashioned way. Punch, punch, punch. Come on, punch him again. I think I use a Rocket Man ship here. Which one do I use? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, man? Just attack him. Excellent. So you want to save some orbs. But Sabo Special will be uh, basically what you need. Look at all those skulls, how threatening. But like I said, that lizard right there is the one that poisons. And he is the one who you want to kill. You don't need to use your Moria Special here. That's uh, a little bit overkill. Uh, but Moria Special is on the longer cooldown on this island. Just the Sabo Special and Gohan Usopp Specials are enough. Uh, you're using the Kizaru variant. You can use Kizaru whenever he's available to do that extra damage. If you are using a double time skip Luffy team, well, at least you're going to save yourself an hour and 15 minutes because I think that's how long it took me to beat this stage. So we stalled on the last die guy, we killed the last guy, and we're on to Robin. Robin has 4 million hit points. She will preemptively give us tandem orbs and lock all our orbs for 10 turns. We're going to have the same orbs for a few turns. She's going to prevent delay to herself. She attacks every two turns, and just like on the 15 standard version, whenever she dies, she's going to deal 7,000 damage back to us. She'll also do that a little bit of preemptive damage, but it doesn't really matter. So here, we'll use Duval first before the Rocket Man, not the way I did it with the Rocket Man first. So Duval first, cut that health, Rocket Man after that, Salo Special after that, Moria Special if it's ready, 5 plus Luffy Special, and kill the girls in the back. And after this, you just want to punch until you win. Remember that Robin, even though she does damage upon death, you can't die to that because, like we saw in the 15 standard version of my guide, if you, uh, since we are going to heal after our attacks every single time, by the time that Robin deals her end of turn damage, we would have already healed and we'll be back to full health. So you don't have to worry about when you kill Robin, just kill Robin as soon as you can. And the specials we want to have ready for the next stage is we want to have the Sablo special ready for next stage. So as long as you keep that Sablo special ready, it's the only one you need. You can also, I think 5 plus Luffy's damage is enough for the next stage, but Sablo special is definitely enough for the next stage. So get Robin nice and row. Then she dies. Oh, no, not dies. And then she dies. Thanks, Robin. Boom, 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 boom. Okie doke. Deals that end of turn damage. Kinda hurts just a tiny bit. So on this stage, single Sawa special. Actually, that's yeah, that was 5 plus Luffy special. So, yep, 5 plus Luffy special definitely kills all the people. You can also use Sawa special. Kills everybody there. Stall it. Bugogi below half health will give you badly matching orbs. Uh, but you don't really care about that. Uh, actually, if you're just using the Luffy special and nothing else, you don't have to stall for any other specials here because against Frankie is where we're going to be taking a huge lion's share of our time. Frankie will have just under 3 million hit points. He will have a 35 hit combo. He's going to have that uh, combo barrier for 29 turns. He's going to boost defense for 7 turns. And he's going to prevent delay to himself. So use Moria, use Sabo, use Duval. Use them in the right order. Use Duval, then Moria, then Sabo, or whichever order you want. 
kill the dudes in the back and then prepare to have a nice, nice, super long stalling time. Because Frankie, after we wait 30 turns, then we start hurting him. And then after that, at this point, it is actually a one game. As soon as you get to Frankie, as soon as you kill the two dudes in the back, you've won. There's no other way you can lose. You can't die to stage nine. You can't die to Luffy. The only way you can lose is if you lose your patience. Ha <laughs> ha Stage 9, oh, I'm sorry, this is the wrong Stage 9. So Stage 9 here, uh, you actually have to use a special. The Sabo special will get you through. That's all you gotta do. Sabo special there. Stage 9 will actually preemptively silence your side character, so Golem Hunt Usopp can't be used. Oh no, how dangerous. This is also why you don't want to bring Sai Sabo, you want to just bring Dex Sabo. Not only because he works with Duval, but also because uh, Sai Sabo will be silenced for 99 turns, which will definitely slow down your run. Kill all those Manticores, and then you've won! The Basilisk here doesn't do anything bad. You just want to take it out. There's not even any reason to delay or to stall out your specials. You might as well just go into Luffy right away. So that way you can look at Luffy while he punches your face. Luffy now has 4.76 million hit points. He'll preemptively shuffle your orbs, prevent delay for 99 turns, cut your health by 50%. He attacks every turn for 17,000 damage. And below 20% he attacks for 53,000 damage. Whenever he dies, he'll revive to 50% health. He'll boost his attack, but that doesn't matter because we're a zombie team. And then he'll shuffle your orbs. So you've got it. Mm, look at that cake I have. Oh, isn't that delicious cake? How am I playing this game with both my hands on the cake? Oh, nobody will know. Ooh, it's a mystery. So here's his revive turn. That's it, guys. Straw Hat. 20 Stamina Island, there you go. You know how to do it now. Good luck with it on your runs. Don't feel bad if you have to restart a ton of times on stage one, because I think it took me maybe 20 resets in order to get the right stage one to actually work. And then after that, the rest of the island is just making sure you stall and not messing up. Uh, don't do the stage three like I did. Make sure you kill the Mantis and then stall in Princess Turtles. You don't need to use a special there. And just take your time. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy the island. There will be another 20 Stamina Straw Hat Island coming out later on. That 20 Stamina Straw Hat Island is not zombieable. You cannot use a zombie team on that one. And it's, uh, it's even harder than this one. The rewards are the same. The final 20 Stamina version does give you 20 gems just like before. Hey, look, Blaze. Hi, kitty. But... It's, uh, it's so difficult, I didn't even do it whenever I had uh, whenever it was out on Japan. So if you're going to try and go for it, good luck. Having the Anniversary Straw Hats definitely helps. If we have Gear 4 out by that time, then that would help also. I've been Zinigami, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck getting your 20 gems. Y'all stay beautiful.